Flag is that up. Chief. There you are. Hmm? I got the flag whoever, set up. Whoever this one is right here. Okay. I see a floating flag. Got the wrong uh wrong collars on. You need the SAFR, please. Oh, I love it here. It's a great board. <laughs> All right, firefighters, let's try getting like shoulder to shoulder and semi straight line at least. If we can, please. Nice and straight line. Don't let the state police sheriff's department and PD show us up on a straight line. Yeah, so let's kind of keep a shoulder to shoulder straight line facing forward. Nothing too hard. Okay. No offense Never to you guys. Mind. You look great over there. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this started, guys. So, first of all, thank everyone for, you know, coming out here, you know, on kind of a little bit of short, short notice. But um, obviously, as we're aware today, you know, it is 9 11. Um, in my opinion, the day that forever changed the free world um, and our way of life, not only here in the United States, Great Britain, and all of our allies. You know, for someone like myself, you know, I was only taught there would happen for some of us that are standing among us. They were in elementary school, high school, junior high, kids. You know, and everything changed just in that short time span. And, you know, kind of realize on how fragile life really is. You know, I keep seeing things, you know, on Facebook and uh, Instagram and all of our, you know, social media outlets that we have today that we're lucky to have, you know, bring up some images that we've never seen, you know, and also kind of the bravery that New York's finest had to, uh, had on that day, not only from the emergency personnel, but the citizens of New York as well. That short time frame, we put all of our beliefs, religions, and off to the side. We no longer wore different colors, again, regardless of race, gender, or what we believe in personally. At that point, we all bled red, white, and blue. We were Americans. The days following helped bring us together as a nation. And as a family. Each time this gear comes around, we remind ourselves what we can do to honor those that made the ultimate sacrifice. For those that went overseas, and those that every day put on our uniforms that we wear and go do this job. I'd like to share a little story that one of my uh, family friends, a retired uh, Master Sergeant of the United States Marine Corps. He was 18 years old when 9-11 happened. He was in uh, what's considered grass week or rifle range week when 9-11 happened. He told me one time that they just got finished, you know, practicing that day. Well, we're just about ready to go and start their day at the range when their drill instructors ran up to them and pulled them aside to break the news. Those young men and women at that time had no idea what was about to happen. That we were going into war. That their lives alone are changed. Just from that one those simple words. He remembers it very clearly. His senior drill instructor, very, very strong man, told me he never laughed, never smiled, never showed any signs of emotion. That was the one time he saw him break down and cry. Like I said earlier, some of us were only two, three years old. But now, even as life goes on, the world continues to move on. You know, you've got younger generations now that are learning about this to this day. And how their world has been changed as well. So as we go out today and do our jobs, 
whether it be on the Elio side, fire side, take the time to remember those that paid the, made the ultimate sacrifice climbing up those towers and those that lost their lives the following days due to other illnesses related to this. Go on mine and bow our heads when we're praying before we all break away and go on our, go on our day. Heavenly Father, I ask you today that you watch over every single one of these members here in San Andreas. I ask that you guide them through their duties, their lives, and whatever personal hobbies they have. Watch over them as they respond to calls and help them guide each other on, during today and the rest of their career. I also ask that you will continue to watch over the other firefighters, state troopers, sheriff officers, and police officers across America as they also grieve on this day to remember those that they lost throughout this year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, if you all join me for a moment of silence. Car 4 radio. Go ahead. If you can go and start the moment of silence, please. Alrighty, and that concludes everything here. Again, thank you guys for coming out. And we'll see you out there on the streets. Thank you everyone for coming. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Firefighters, don't move. Stay right where you're at. Do not move. Well, Chief, you can. I'm going to get a giant picture of all of us together. I'm good, I'll stay where I am. You know, for that website thing? Uh-huh. Yeah. So no one move. Waiting for winners. And smile. Cheers. Cheers. Done. Everyone go put their stuff on. Let's get working. Let's get shift going. Are we going to leave ladder up, or do I need to go take it down? Uh. What's up, Chief? Damn, but it looks sharp. so good. You know what? Ladder's out of service. Rescue is in service. If we will only take out ladder if uh, we have something structural going on. Oh, God damn it. We're leaving um, it there otherwise. Sorry. I know. Uh, yes, you're you doing Simon. You can do squad. Uh, medic well. 5 sure. is going to be Knight and Baskins. Uh, engine 5 is Shaw, Steph, and Winners. Woo! Uh, rescue is going to be Bailey. Let me.